And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. With two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Allie, take it away. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Allie. Good stuff there. Thank you. A look at the opening lineup for the Orlando Magic. Isaac and Carter up front. Terrence Ross is out there with Suggs. And it's Wagner in at the three slot. And for Cleveland, Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Ricky Rubio is out there with Colin Sexton. And it's Markkinen in at the three, the small forward. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware when that's the case? No question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss it and be open and transparent about it. And, of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. And the Magic. Start out with the ball. Here's Suggs. Pass to Wagner. Knocks down the triple.
tell you, it always feels great getting those first points on the board. And will that get him rolling? Will it get his team rolling? This should be an interesting night. Now here's Sexton. Here's Mobley. And he jams it home with authority. Well, that's an example of using both vision and playmaking ability to find the open teammate. Sexton is a quality floor general. And that was our AT&T 5G slam can, bringing you the sauce. Ross passes to Isaac. Here's Suggs, covered by Rubio. Here's Suggs, coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Carter. It's tipped, and he recovers it. Basket's good. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Rubio passes to Markkinen. Outside Sexton. Sinks the tray. Well, he's already a good shooter from distance now, and Colin Sexton, a ton of confidence when he starts to stroke that thing. Pass to Carter. Here's Suggs. Now here's Ross. Shot clock at six. From the top of the key, Rubio with the rebound. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. On the wing, Sexton. Here in the first quarter, with about two minutes gone by, marking it outside. The fadeaway. It's hauled in by the Magic. And this matchup with the Cavaliers, it's their first meeting of the season. They ran away with the season series last year. It was one of the few teams they could beat. My goodness, the vertical of Terrence Ross is special. And the Cavaliers with possession here. After the basket by Orlando. Sexton grabs the board. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Rubio. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. Here's Mobley, giving them some good production, putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Listen, we know the mid-range game is in this guy's arsenal, but you wonder should he have moved it just one pass more. Ross passes to Isaac. Over Rubio. It's not going to go for him. And it's Cleveland the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. It was, frankly, embarrassing. I was shocked by their disorganization, and I think they were too. Well, frankly, they should be shocked. I mean, that kind of effort simply won't cut it in today's NBA. Let's see if they take any lessons from it. After a deep collegiate championship run, Jalen Suggs looks so ready for the pressures of league play. Oh, he's got ice in his veins for sure. Taking his college team to the finals with a buzzer-beating three-pointer, that kind of grit will serve him well in the NBA. Ross gets it to drop. Now two of four. When the mid-range is working for Terrence Ross, he's going to create problems. It's just a matter of can he do it consistently. Cleveland calls timeout. Boy, when you think about Jonathan Isaac, it is hard to understate what an effect his defense can have on a game. Opponents must take him into account when they're drawing up their offensive game plan. And a quick look here at some of the numbers for him. Here's Sexton, and another miss by Cleveland. You know, as for Isaac's defense, it's not always about a sensational highlight reel block. Doris, he can have an impact in subtle ways. Oh, my goodness, no question. With his length, with his hustle, with his energy, with his instincts, everything factors in. Boy, when he's playing disciplined defense down low, you can put, quote, a do not enter sign right in the paint. Here's Sexton, following the bucket by the Magic. Over Ross. Off the mark, and the drought continues. 
I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter, he has been completely bothered. Here's Suggs. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And it's slammed in by Carter. I mean, the second effort from Carter Jr., real nice motor on this guy. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Sexton, another miss. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Wagner. Coming off a 22-point game against Chicago. Six on the shot clock. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Outside Sexton. Pass to Mobley. Back to Sexton. To the inside. And it goes! As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Magic. They've pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the defense to collapse. That could free up shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off the assists. The Garland's checked in for That's Rubio. Up. And it's always fun to see a defensive powerhouse like Evan Mobley. He savors any chance he gets to affect a shot or totally shut down an opponent. Here's Suggs. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And Wagner gets it to go. And you like the balance here, not just falling in love with the three ball. Well, the Cavaliers shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Well, when you look at Mobley's collegiate stat line, blocks definitely jump out at you. He averaged almost three a game. Well, B.A., he obviously knows how to use all of his reach, but I'm sure he'll have to make some adjustments to be as effective here in the NBA. And so here is Orlando following the score by Cleveland. The three from Suggs. Here's Isaac. And he battles for the ball, gets the second chance bucket. They're playing with a lot of energy tonight. We can see that in their dominance on the glass. Pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. And it's Orlando with a rebound. Carter's got his sixth rebound on the night to the paint. Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Allen. The rebound by Carter. Carter's got his seventh rebound here tonight. To the middle. It's picked off. Marking it outside. Over Suggs. Outside for Sexton. Outside Garland. Six to shoot. Here's Allen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Terrence Ross. Well, this is exactly the kind of position you want Jared Allen shooting from, right? He gets excellent position, makes defenders nervous this close. Good job drawing that foul. Shooting two. That free throw good from Allen. Boy, even beyond his signature look, Jared Allen is a true throwback big man uses his height to own the paint and just locks in on his strengths so both free throws good from allen and something else that really makes allen a renaissance big is how he sticks to high percentage shots for us. well think about a field goal percentage at over 60 percent he doesn't get outside himself. This guy earns his keep, earns his money in the paint. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Garland with the ball, and Anthony picks him up defensively. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. That's just tremendous focus from the young guy, Darius Garland. Takes the punishment, figures out how to score it.
Guys, you know this. Expectations for Darius Garland were high after he was taken with that fifth pick in 2019. He's made some big-time strides. He continues to improve his game. Ball, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. Let's go. Endorse an interesting note about Garland. The first player born in the 2000s to make the league. Okay, stop. Because <laughs> now you're making me feel old. It's true. A new generation is coming in, and I'll tell you what. The league is in spectacular hands. Now here's Fultz. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Chicago. Pass to Anthony. Here's Lopez. Love grabs the miss. Listen, he can make that shot right there, but I do know they have other options they can go to. Here's Fall. Here's the Kuro. And it's Okiki with a rebound. Orlando has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Fultz passes to Anthony. And here's Carter. Outside Fultz. There's the triple. He can't hit that time. The Cavs trailing. Here's Fall. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. What you love about this is there's an unselfish nature to Kevin Love's game, and I believe that's contagious. Anthony with it, and Rondo picks him up defensively. With the teardrop, Anthony misses. And Cleveland shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. That ties it up. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Anthony with it. Ten points in his last outing. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And Doris, look at Cole Anthony. The potential he has is exciting. A guard who does a little bit of everything. That's right. And the energy he provides. That's huge to a team. And it doesn't matter if he's in the starting lineup, if he's coming off the bench. His instinct is, I am going to make an impact. One falls for him. And Anthony drops them both. Now here's Rondo. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Oh, the teardrop falls time out, time out. in. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Timeout called the Magic. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. And coming into that one, honestly, they were hoping to pull off an upset. But the talent differential was just too much to overcome. You have the sense that they expected that result. Once they dug themselves into a hole, I thought they let go of the rope. And we've got a moment here to show you this season's most aggressive defensive team. The Cavaliers, number one. This is not the team you want to challenge at the rim. They're the best team in the league at blocking shots. Orlando's gone only one of four from three-point land. Anthony, the pass to Carter. Outside, Fultz. Pass to Lopez. 
Now here's Fultz. Not a lot of room. Got a hand on it. Here's Fall. With the 10-footer. And it's Okiki with a rebound. Outside Fultz. Pass to Anthony. Over Garland. Here's Lopez. Shots blocked. There's a minute 12 left in the first quarter. Here's Fall. He's guarded by Anthony. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. You know, it's blocks like that which make Lopez such a factor in the paint. Here's Carter. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Lux got four rebounds now. Pass to Garland. And here's Love. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Five to shoot. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Well, Orlando shooting only 39% in the early going. Carter, the pass to Anthony. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Shoots over Rondo. And it's Lopez. That time on the assist by Anthony. And the Magic lead by two. Here's Garland. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Well, we know that injury ended Darius Garland's college career right at its infancy. But this guy smartly used his recovery time to focus on getting ready for the NBA. And boy, he's proven he can be a gifted player. That's good from Garland. The Magic making a switch here. Garland hits them both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Fultz. Three-pointer, Anthony. It's a tie game in Cleveland. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. Well, we're seeing veteran players extending their careers like never before. Rajon Rondo credits his disciplined training regimen. I feel young. I feel athletic at times. I still feel fast. feel good. My body feels great. I'm lifting, yoga, whatever it takes to take care of my body. All that core and flexibility work makes a difference, Grant. It really does. And Rondo's natural athleticism helps, too. Even losing a little bit of a step, he can still hold his own. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, very disruptive in that first period. They never allowed the offense to get comfortable. Rajon Rondo out there with Darius Garland. Then there's Okoro. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Fall in at the center position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Oh, 
And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. When he first came into the NBA, Grant, Darius Garland was a little bit of a mystery. He only played five games in college because of an injury, but it didn't stop the Cavs from taking him with the fifth pick overall in 2019. And that's how obvious his talent was. It was clear his offensive skill set could translate to the NBA. And when you've got a guy who can shoot over the defense or can get into the lane and finish, you can't pass him up, no matter how many games he played in college. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Colin Sexton's nickname at Alabama was the Young Bull. He said, quote, I just play with a lot of passion through adversity. No matter what the score is, I play a complete game. Every time I step on the court, I have to show the world what I can do. Oh, tremendous energy, Allie, right? Thanks for that. Garland, no good. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Blocked! Takes it in. He got a piece of it. Pass to Lopez. Now here's Isaac. Covered by Love. Outside Fultz. It's stolen by Garland. And he lays it in on the break. Garland's got four points now in the quarter. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Cavaliers. They've come out in full attack mode defensively, applying pressure and stealing it away repeatedly. One more thing they've done well is challenge shooters and chain shots. A lot of blocks early. Cleveland calls timeout. I'll tell you what, you have to be excited about Jonathan Isaac. Whenever he's on the floor, he makes an impact on both ends of the court. And a new group getting ready for the Cavaliers. Markkinen's checked in for Fall. Mobley comes in for Love. Sexton's checked in for Rondo. And Rubio is subbed in for Garland. Wagner's checked in for Orlando. Suggs comes in for Fultz. Now here's Rubio. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Okoro, no good. You know, the main thing for Jonathan Isaac is his health. It seems like whenever he gets healthy, he ends up getting hurt again. The guy's been through a lot. He's had to battle through a number of injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously frustrating for him, I'm sure. But he's still got youth on his side. So here's hoping he can remain healthy and reach his potential. The Cavaliers have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Here's Mobley. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Mobley's got seven points in the game. This is one of the purest point guards to come around in quite some time. He is Rubio, the ultimate distributor. Pass to Suggs. Down to five on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Anthony. The Cavaliers pull it in. After this one, they're off to Dallas to take on the Mavericks. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Here's Mobley. Seven points in the game. Here's Sexton. Got it. Good job in the low post. And now it's a six-point Cleveland lead. This young man loves to play through contact and certainly has the frame to absorb it. Go ahead, young Sexton. Isaac outside. Here's Suggs. Checked by Sexton. And Suggs, the bucket, on the assist by Isaac. Well, how about Jonathan Isaac showing a desire to share the basketball? I love it. Marketing it in right side. Lopez with the steal.
Tries a 10-footer. The shot that time, not on target. And Cleveland will come the other way. Here's Markkinen. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on Jonathan Isaac. And as great as Markkinen is on offense, his defense leaves much to be desired. Doesn't offer much defense as a post player at this point in his career. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And for Markin and, and his defense, it's a work in progress. Grant, there's still some time for him to improve. He's got a long way to go. Not a natural rebounder. He just looks a little uneasy when switched into ISO situations. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Allen's checked in. And a change for the Magic. Ross is checked in. Markinen hits them both. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's Isaac. They get it back. Wagner. And from the field after that one, three for four now. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Pass to Sexton. And the layup is good off the glass. Sexton's got seven points. Man, that's a big-time fearless move from Colin Sexton. Put it home, young sir. Outside Ross. On the take. Banked it in off the glass. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Sexton with it. He's coming off a 25-point game against Phoenix. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. And that's a foul called on Ricky Rubio. That's his first foul. And the Magic making a change here. Carter's checked in. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Oh, now that was a block. Some much-needed energy there to jumpstart them back into this game. Outside Ross. Here's Suggs. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. Clock at six. The baseline, Jay. And again, it's Orlando converting. You can see Terrence Ross call for the pick and roll. He makes it work. That's good leadership from him at the offensive end. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Mobley. Over Wagner. Here's Allen. And it's good. First made shot in four attempts. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. Anthony against Rubio. Anthony, left side. And the shot goes. Anthony's got eight. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. Sexton passes to Allen. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And the Cavaliers lead by six. Pass to Suggs. Back to Anthony. Tipped. That one goes. Count it. The Cavaliers have gotten eight of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Sexton goes in. That one falls. 11 points in the game. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. Here's Suggs. Pass to Carter. 
Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, that was clearly a foul. Falls for Carter. And so Carter nails them both. The Cavaliers leading. Now here's Rubio, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Good on the bucket. Boy, hard to shade Rubio defensively. He's always mixing up the moves, stays unpredictable. Anthony against Rubio. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. And he gets it back. Cleveland shooting around 50% of the game so far. Marketing from long range. Rebounded by Suggs. And for the Magic, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Pass to Wagner. Anthony with it. It's stolen by Rubio. Here's Mobley. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Mobley's got four points in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Now here's Ross. Inside by marketing and here comes the break sexton misses orlando trailing here wagner for three and they recover it anthony against sexton pass to rubio now sexton and it's good Fought through contact, hit the shot, and will go to the line. Boy, it is hard not to love the absolute high energy level Colin Sexton plays with. He's relentless. He stays active whether he's on or off the ball. Love is checked in for the Cavs. Garland comes in for Rubio. Okiki's checked in for Orlando. Fultz comes in for Anthony. And that high energy play from Sexton. Door is something you also see on the defensive end. This guy wants to harass anybody who's trying to handle the basketball. He wants to outwork you. He wants to make the most of any chance he gets to get an impact on the basketball game. Pass to Suggs. And here's Fultz. Shot clock at six. To stop the run. And they pick up two. Fultz has gotten four this quarter. Oh, what a crafty move, causing the defender to pause right there. Poke loose. Here's Garland. Back to Love. Now Sexton, pounded by Fultz. Fires from the wing. Sexton, that's good. Sexton's got 16 points. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Suggs with the bucket. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Sexton against Fultz. A minute 22 left to play in the first half. Here's Mobley. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. 11 points in the game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Carter. Here's Suggs. Back to Carter. Here's Suggs. Checked by Sexton. 
Suggs, no good. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. Love laid it in with a nice touch off the window. And we know this about Kevin Love. Contact will not deter him. Fultz passes to Carter. Back to Fultz. Outside Ross. Pass to Carter. Yes, it's good. Carter's got four points this quarter. Yeah, great anticipation of where the open man was going to be. And Terrence Ross finds him immediately. That's really pretty. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. That free throw, no good. Well, Colin Sexton has all the physical tools to be special in the NBA. He's got to sharpen his point guard skills. But if he works at this game, he's going to have a tremendous career. Ball, he's checked in for the Cavs. Okoro comes in for marketing. And the Magic making a change here as well. Lopez, he's checked in for Carter. And he sinks the second. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Here's Suggs. He's got six. They get it again. Ross. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Cleveland going into the break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Wow, Colin Sexton displaying all his skills today. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. On the court for Orlando, Isaac and Carter up front. Terrence Ross is out there with Suggs, and it's Hogner in at the small forward position. You like Allen to keep his concentration, refuses to let the defense outmuscle or outwork him. Suggs, no good. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. 14 points, their largest margin of the game. And here's Sexton. Driving in. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And they're really rolling right now. That lead keeps getting bigger and bigger. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Suggs, no good. I know he's got to be frustrated right now, but the team is fighting from behind. He's got to stay with it. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Last season, after what was dubbed a historic wave of injuries, the Magic decided it was time to hit the reset button, trading away their veterans for picks and for prospects. This will take some patience, but the front office feels this different path affords them more upside to contend moving forward. Guys? You know, Allie, that's an excellent point. Something to keep an eye on. Here's Mobley following the bucket by the Magic. A shot from the mid-range. Marketing misses. 
for Orlando. They've gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Wagner. It's Ross on the wing. Wagner with it. From deep. Shot is off. Four for seven in the game now. Isaac against Sexton. Pass to Markinen. Over Suggs. And another miss by Cleveland. Here's Orlando. It's off to Philadelphia after this game, where they'll face the 76ers. That'll be the second of two games on the road. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. for Carter a little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter Sexton against Ross Sexton that's good Sexton's got 21 Boy, Colin Sexton is just so young so energetic this guy taking over right now Ross with it now Rubio defending and that's a foul called on Ricky Rubio. That's third foul of the game. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages him to keep attacking on the offensive end. Here's Suggs. Give him eight. Pass to Isaac. Five on the clock. The Magic need to put one up here. And Suggs the bucket on the assist by Isaac. Isaac's got his third assist of the night. Marking it outside. Now here's Sexton. He's covered closely. The basket drops. And he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. When thinking about Colin Sexton, the first thing that comes to mind is his burst. I mean, his acceleration is just tremendous. He can go from 0 to 60 like a race car. Rondo, he's checked in for Rubio. Anthony's checked in for Orlando. You know, Grant with Sexton, it's not just that he has speed. He actually knows how to use that speed as a weapon. Yeah, he really does. I mean, defenders have to play out on him because of his three-point ability. So he'll wait to catch them flat-footed, then use his burst to blow by them, getting into the teeth of the defense and making plays. It's an even three-on-three -three break. No good. A bit long that time. The Magic have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Carter. And here's Isaac. Checked by Rondo. On the wing, Isaac. Taking a look at his numbers. Averaging about 11 a game. Tries it from 19. Anthony misses. And guys, this has got to be more of a team effort. Right now, he's playing all for himself. Allen. Orlando grabs the miss. Isaac's got four rebounds now. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead. But it's been a tough night for him individually. I don't know what's going on with Carter tonight, but something has him motivated in a major way. And they'll ride him for as long as they can. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue share 
hearing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. And he makes a first. Fultz, he's checked in for Orlando. That's good as he hits both shots. For Orlando, they've gone four of eight in the third. And he drives in. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Well, this has to contribute to Markel Fultz's confidence. Showing right there he can get through the defense. And here's the pass break. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. The Cavaliers shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. And there's the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Back to Carter. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Putting in work. Carter Jr. is a lunch pail guy who just goes about his business. Pass to Mobley. Now here's Markkinen. Here's Mobley. Over Anthony. Mobley, no good. Orlando's gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Here's Wagner. Deflected! Now Rondo. And right now, he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Sexton with it. Now Carter defending. Sexton against Anthony. They get it back. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Sexton's got nine points here in the second half. Anthony with it. Give him eight. Outside Fultz. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Cavaliers. Their mid-range shooting has been tremendous all game, guys. There hasn't been a drop-off at all. Now they've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. Lopez, he's checked in for Orlando. Okiki comes in for Wagner. And the free throw, no good. Well, think back to the 2017 draft, guys. Some were surprised to see Markel Fultz be the first pick. And when you think back on that draft, there's certainly a lot of what-ifs. With a nine-footer. Has to love. Orlando grabs the miss. Anthony outside. Back to Lopez. Now here's Anthony. Six on the shot clock. Fultz finds Isaac. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Isaac's got his second basket on the night. Well, Markel Fultz continues to develop his floor awareness. Passes like that will create all kinds of chemistry. Pass to Rondo. Here's Fall, pounded by Fultz. And Fultz pulls it down. The Magic have gotten 8 of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Here's Anthony. Puts up a three. Offensive board. Isaac gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Isaac's got his third basket on the night right there. Now here's Garland. He's got 11. Pass to Akuro. Love with the ball. He's guarded by Anthony. Let's it go from 14. Tries again. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. They'll pin that one on Jonathan Isaac.
No good on the free throw. Sexton's checked in for the Cavaliers. Good on the second one. Here's Fultz. Give him eight points now. Second shot opportunity. And the layup good by Lopez. Lopez has got his second basket. You know, hats off to him for staying active inside. Lopez just creating his own offense. Down low. Here's Fall. Good work defensively by Lopez. Orlando trailing here. Pass to Anthony. Launches a three. Here's Isaac. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Don't let the frame fool you. Jonathan Isaac is lean, but he is unafraid of contact. I love that play. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good from Isaac. Well, the potential of Jonathan Isaac is truly exciting. This guy is still a bit raw, but he has every tool to be successful, both offensively and defensively. Both free throws good from Isaac. The Cavaliers leading. Outside Garland. Outside Sexton. Six to shoot. The three. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Pass to Fultz. Back to Lopez. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got three assists tonight. You know, good example of strength and control there by Lopez. He took some contact on that one. Garland, the pass to Love. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Here's Orlando. They're on an 18-7 run. Well, you think back to Markel Fultz and the first couple of seasons in the league. I don't know that there was a player more scrutinized at such a young age. Now here's Sexton. He's got 26. It's deflected and just wasn't able to set up in time. Well, with Fultz, it's never easy being the number one overall pick. All eyes on you. That was the case with him, Doris. Right. Expectations are always so high if you go first in the draft. And the franchise putting so much on the possibilities Shoot of your two. talent. And it may not be fair to a young player. That's the reality. But to his credit, Fultz tuned out the noise, concentrated on improving his game every day. And that's the process it has to be about. Ross, he's checked in for Isaac. He hits the second from the line. You know, with Robin Lopez, a career mid-70s free throw shooter, we'll take that any time from the center position. Garland, pass to Love. Pass to Sexton. 11 feet out. Second chance shot. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. And he's able to get it back. Orlando has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. To the middle. For the lead. The shot is good. Fultz making the play. Fultz has got his fourth assist with that last one. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Magic. Oh, their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. 
Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. Now here's Lopez. He's got nine. Anthony in the post. Blocked! Here's Fall to the inside. Out to Garland. And he gets it to go off the front iron. Garland's got 13. Well, I like the no hesitation. Darius Garland knows you have to be assertive in catch and shoot situations. Here's Anthony. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. Pass to fall. On the wing, Sexton. Pounded by Fultz. Anthony on the double. Garland for three. Kept alive. Here's Okoro. Another shot. No good there. What a performance for Colin Sexton. He has been the story for Cleveland. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. They've got Darius Garland, Colin Sexton up there with Kevin Love. Then there's Ricky Rubio, and it's Fall in at the five, roaming the paint. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. One of the keys as a perimeter player is always stay focused through contact. Markel Fultz makes that shot despite the physical contact. Now here's Sexton. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Here's Suggs. Inside. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. For the Cavaliers, Jared Allen, he's checked in for fall. Mobley comes in for love. And Markkinen subbed in for Sexton. And the Magic making a change here as well. Carter's checked in. Here's Rubio. And here's Garland. Pass to Mobley. Tipped away. Here's the break. Here's Fultz. Soft touch off the glass. Fultz has got four points now in the quarter. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and Keep grinding. Now here's Allen. He's checked by Carter. Pass to Mobley. Left side Garland. Clock at six. Outside Rubio. Can they get it? And it's Orlando with a rebound. Lopez has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Suggs. Carter. Pass to Fultz. Let's it fly. Hits the front of the rim and out. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Mobley. That's in there. Rubio with the assist. Love his attacking mindset. What a move at a huge point in this game. That is not settling. That is going for a high percentage look at a critical time. Nicely done. From the high post. Suggs, no good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Here's Mobley. Outside Garland. Shot is up. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. 
That's on Wendell Carter. Well, give Darius Garland credit for looking to score. He forces the defense into action. Good from Garland. And the Magic making a change here. Wagner's checked in. Garland hits them both. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Here's Suggs. Covered by Rubio. Pass to Wagner. Carter against Rubio. Carter, good. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. The Cavaliers have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Now here's Rubio. Tight defense on him. Outside Garland. From deep. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Rubio's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, nice rise and fire from range by Darius Garland. The three-point shot is so highly valued. Looks like he's shooting with a lot more confidence here in the second half. in the first half. Now he's putting the defense back on its heels. The Cavaliers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Garland. Shoots over Ross. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. Boy, Darius Garland in no mood to be denied. On the interior, go ahead, young sir. Ross with it. Picked up by Markkinen. 4-3. Ross can't get it to go. Cleveland has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Out of bounds. It'll be Orlando's ball. Isaac, he's checked in for Orlando. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Ross passes to Isaac. Here's Suggs. And he banks in the layup. And the Magic lead by four. They just look so overwhelmed inside. That's why they continue to get attacked. Back to Rubio. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Now, this is one of the most talked about international players ever. And I think Rubio just needs to stay healthy and keep working on that shot. The first one falls. Hits both from the stripe. Now Ross. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Well, this guy's going to find his way to get the ball in the bucket. Contact or not, Terrence Ross can flat score the basketball. Garland against Ross. Garland, the pass to Allen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And both 
teams playing with a little more urgency in this half. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. Here's Suggs. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first turnover of the night. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. The Cavaliers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Outside Garland. Got a hand on it. Boy, his vertical makes Terrence Ross an A-plus shot blocker for his size. This guy, his main duties on the perimeter, but he'll get his share of blocks. The Cavs trailing. Allen finds Garland, driving to the basket, and it's out of bounds to Cleveland. Pass to Markkinen. Here's Mobley. Isaac covering. And here's Allen to tie it up. Yep, count it. And this game is tied up now. The Magic have gone 7 for 11 so far in the fourth. Now Wagner. Pass to Suggs. Just five to shoot. Fires the three. He buries it from three. Suggs has got ten points in just the second half. That's his second make from distance this half after hitting none before that. Isaac with the steal. Here's Suggs. Launches it. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got five rebounds tonight. Marking it outside. Back to Allen. Pass to Markkinen. To the paint. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's on Wendell Carter. Nice job drawing the contact on that move. Jared Allen, very difficult to contain because of his length. Free throw good from Allen. And guys, I think the future is so bright for Jared Allen. We're talking about an athletic, mobile big man who has already proven to be an accomplished two-way player. Sexton's checked in for the Cavaliers. So both free throws good from Allen. Orlando leading. Orlando calls timeout. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. The defense has just looked utterly lost trying to slow him down. He's consistently just getting high percentage shots because of how hard he's working. He's doing pretty much whatever he can to get open and <laughs> making the most of those opportunities. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Magic was getting across in the huddle. He said, guys, you don't have to 
chuck up the first three you see. Keep your heads up. Keep looking for the best option. Let's see how they respond. Back to you guys. And Allie, thank you for that. Here's Sexton. That one goes in. Sexton's got 28 points for the game. You love this. The pressure gets physical, and Colin Sexton doesn't blink. Nice job finishing through contact. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Ross finds Carter. Six on the shot clock. Here's Wagner. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. The Cavaliers have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Here's Sexton. Got a piece of it. To the inside. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. Well, tremendous understanding from the young Jonathan Isaac. How about that awareness for the young guy? And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. Orlando has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs. Allen defending. Basket counts. Suggs has got 12 points here in the second half. And a superb job of creating just enough separation to hit the shot. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. So it'll be Jared Allen shooting. That's on Wendell Carter. Orlando shooting it well. Almost 50% for the floor. Pass to Carter. Here's Suggs. Covered by Rubio. Back to Carter. Shoots over Allen. Carter can't get it to go. The Cavaliers have gotten 8 of 13 shots to find the basket in the fourth quarter. Here's Mobley. Has it covering. To tie it up. Goes back up. And it's good on the layup. Mobley's got four points this quarter. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass.
first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Cleveland has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Mobley. He shoots again. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Orlando has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Suggs, covered by Rubio. Allen against Carter. Shot clock at 6. Pass to Suggs. From behind the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Suggs has got 17 now, just in the second half. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's Carter. Isaac, left side. Fires from 14. That went off the back iron and out. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. him a four-point cushion. And so both free throws good. And it's a five-point game. He's able to make it a two-possession game with some solid work at the line right there. Sexton with it. A minute 35 left in the fourth. From deep, Mobley. Rebounded by Suggs. Suggs has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Inside, here's Isaac. Mobley grabs the board. Cleveland has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Rubio. Here's Sexton. Second chance effort, and the layup is up and in. Sexton's got seven now in this quarter. Orlando has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. Here's Suggs. And there's the drive. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last.
There's 38 seconds left in the final quarter. Isaac and gets hacked by the D. He'll go to the line. Well, the size and the length of Jonathan Isaac presents a problem for the defense. This guy uses that frame to draw fouls. Gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a five-point game. Cleveland calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 35 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what's your take? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. Thirty-five seconds left in the game. Here's Sexton. Cash! What a beautiful shot! Brings it within three! Oh, what a delivery by the young Colin Sexton. Fearless and unbowed. Sixteen seconds left in the fourth. Six to shoot. Pass to Carter. They just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. And as a result, they may be facing just a little bit less resistance right now. They are having their way. Cleveland calls timeout. They trail by five. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five ticks left in the final quarter. Downtown. Oh, you got to appreciate the maturity of a young player like Markinen, unfazed in the game's biggest moments. And the Magic call time here. They're in front by two. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. So there's the foul. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He drops the first one. And that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. And it's a four-point ball game. That's what you call slamming the door. This one is over. So a close game here sees Orlando taking this one. And they barely squeezed out the win here on the road. And B.A., the visiting team is always under some added pressure. But they made it work and got the win, whatever the margin may have been. All right, Allie, get up there. Thanks for that. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. And we'll see you next time.